Have you ever heard of the word Yishkeni? It's something you've probably never known before, and yet it can change the way you know God. It can change the way you worship Him. It can take your relationship with God to a new dimension. In the Book of Mysteries, there's a gathering in the school's open-air tent. The disciples are worshiping the Lord and praising Him. And the teacher asks the disciple, when you think of worship, what is it? What do you think of the word worship? And the disciple answers, well, singing, hymns, prayers, words of praise. That's how worship manifests on the outside. But what's the heart of worship? I'm going to give you a definition. It's really a secret. It's in the Bible, but you'd never see it in English. It's in the New Covenant. It appears only in the Greek. It's the word proskuneo. The Bible uses it again and again and again and again. Proskuneo, what does it mean? It means to kiss God. See, the Bible says that God is the bridegroom. He's your bridegroom. You are the bride. Well, what does that mean? What bride doesn't kiss her bridegroom? In the Hebrew, the Song of Solomon, which is the, the song, the love song of the Bible, all about God and us, it opens up with the Hebrew word yishkeni, which literally means let him kiss me. Same thing in the Hebrew and the Greek, kissing God. What does it mean to kiss God? True worship is to kiss the Lord. So then true worship is never done by compulsion, but freely out of the overflow of your heart. And why do we kiss? Because of joy? Yes, because of joy. It's an expression of joy. And kissing brings you joy. Worship comes out of joy, and you, you worship because of joy. You get joy because of worship. We didn't say the most obvious. Which is? We kiss because of love. A kiss is an expression of love. Yes, it is. So then true worship is? Worship is an expression of love. It's the most intimate act of love and joy. Worship is as simple as kissing God. What is a kiss? I mean, above all things, it's simply the act, the expression of love. What does God want from you? He simply wants your love. Worship is to be an expression of love, not a chore. It's not something that is complicated. It's the most intimate act of love and joy. Worship is as simple as kissing God. And it says there, first, let him kiss me. Learn the secret of letting God kiss you, to kiss you with his love, with his joy, with his presence. And then your worship is just a response to him. Get alone today, you know, get alone in your secret place, in your time with God, just alone. Even if you haven't done it for a long time, get alone. God wants your life with him to be not just dogmatic, but romantic. God is your bridegroom. He's the one who proposes to you. He's the one who opens his arms to you. And a bridegroom has to be intimate with his bride. And a bride has to be intimate with her bridegroom. So learn the secret of this word that's throughout the entire New Testament. You'd never think so. It's not a dry thing. Proskuneo, to kiss God and Yishkeni from the Hebrew Scriptures, that God kisses you. You must remember this, a kiss is still a kiss, and that's as simple as it is with you and God. There's a wedding in the Bible that has everything to do with your life, the bridegroom's visitation. 